In this video, we're going to show you how you can update existing columns using global updates in Smart Sheet Control Center. So on this sheet here, we have a, a column current stage. It's a text field. There are no drop downs in here, and it'll be really, really helpful to have the drop down. So what we need to do is to get the drop down values. So copy those and put those into the base level template in the project suite. So go to the current stage there, right click, change it from a text number to a drop down. In this instance, single select and copy those values in. So OK that and save that. So in the base level template, um, those values are there. We then go through to Control Center and go through to the um, Global Update section here, which is go to Manage Program, Global Updates, and say New Update. And it's number two, Modify Existing Column. You come on here and go and click Next. We'll change this, Modify Existing Column, Current Stage. Okay, the blueprint is CTMPD2, and the template is going to be the weekly update template. Go to Next. We are going to go and edit this column current stage. And we have to select one of these, either change column properties or change column cell data. So we're changing the column properties, so we untick column cell data. It's going to be current stage, it's a drop down list type. If you go to advanced here, you can see it's just basically giving you some, a few options in terms of formatting, and the column comes between project health and assigned to, which is fine. So go and click create and run. It will then give me an option here to go and test. So we're going to go to one project and let's go and test this. Apply test. So this will whiz away and give me a little bit of progress and it'll show me the sheet itself. Success. Open the test sheet. It'll come through. And if I come through here, you can see now we have a drop down list. So the test is performed as expected. We can come through control center now. We can now go and confirm. So what happens here is we're going to apply the update to all columns, all sheets, and we just have to go and select all of these here. So we're going to apply to base level project templates and all the various projects and apply that. And this is the message, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we are. So off we go. Um, this will whiz away and it will probably take a minute or so um, to come through. So if you're applying um, updates for projects with, I don't know, 50 or 100 projects, this might take, yeah, five, 10 minutes. This one looks as though it'll be quite quick. What we will do, I'll, I'll hold on the video here just for a literally 20, 30 seconds, and then we'll go and check the um, this template here. It's actually a Powerade um, 750ml. Success. So we press OK there. That's great. And we can go and just go and come out of there. So come through to this sheet, you can see there's been an update in the sheet. If I refresh this, actually you can see here that you've got all, all the values in here. So I can probably go and change these, get some uniformity, but next week it's gonna be a lot easier because I have the values there ready for me. So that's, that's how you go into Control Center using global updates and modify existing columns.